Yes, yes. You know, I gotta say, having the NBA Awards a day after the BET Awards on a different coast is crazy. Black people haven't been this exhausted in 200 years. It's insane. We're coming to you live from Basketball City here in New York. If you're proud to be from New York, make some noise. I love New York. I love New York. It's a city that never sleeps, mostly because everyone that lives here is afraid of being traded. Look at this room, man. Look at this room, look at KG. I got my boy KG over there, legend, one of my favorite players of all time. Looking around, look at Bill Russell here. All kind, look at Russ right there. This is great. We got Allen Iverson in here somewhere, probably on a super casual vibe, just connecting with some old friends, you know? <laughs> got the Brooklyn Nets in here trying to get verified on Instagram tonight. It's a lot of blue checks coming your way, boys, I promise. I'm, I'm, I'm legit excited for y'all. Um, while we're on the topic, while we're on the topic of Instagram, I just wanna say it's a bit of an awkward vibe in here tonight. I, I don't think I've ever been in a room with so many guys that have DM my ex-girl. Um, it's a lot of, lot of DPs getting sent to that inbox, you know? Y'all some dogs, man. Y'all some dirty dogs, I don't see it all. Uh, you know, people were upset that, that I'm the host for the first ever NBA Awards because they say I'm a bandwagon fan. I just wanna address that, you know, it hurts. Uh, I've said it time and time again, it's not true, it's ridiculous. I have two teams, okay? One from my hometown and whoever else is winning at the current time, that's it, two teams, <laughs> just two. Congratulations to the Golden State Warriors. Yeah. A tremendous group of players that play with Matt Barnes. People keep asking if the dominance of the Warriors and Cavs is bad for the league. Um, I'm just glad that people aren't as critical of dominance in other professions, because I'd never want my doctor to be like, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and mess this one up so nobody thinks that I'm too good, you know? I don't want to save every life. Gotta be humble. Draymond Green stopped kicking people in the groin and moved on to something much worse, his own podcast. It's a tough listen. It's a tough listen. LeBron James recently went bald and social media had an absolute... Oh, sorry, this is a joke from 2007. We're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it rolling. <laughs> Paul Pierce retired this year, the truth. Make some noise for the two, my guy. You know, after a very long career, fans were in shock as they were under the assumption that he left 10 years ago. <laughs> Speaking of Celtics, congratulations to Isaiah Thomas. Uh, yeah, that's right, make some noise, please. <laughs> Isaiah is the latest to grace the cover of ESPN's Body That Everybody Has issue. It's just, it's just not a, it's not an abnormally athletic back. Like I have that back, French Montana has that back. Everybody's got that back, it's just a regular back. Lonzo Ball is officially a Laker. Why, okay. Uh, sadly, D'Angelo Russell was traded to the Brooklyn branch of TMZ in that exchange. You know, I do want to say, LeVar Ball is proof of something that doesn't get enough attention in this country. The black father that's around too much. <laughs> He's just there all the time. Doesn't miss a birthday, a game. It's around all the time. <laughs> KG like that. I like, you know, I like what KG like. Rookie Markel Fultz says he almost signed with Big Baller Brand before he eventually signed with Nike. When asked what changed his mind, Fultz said, I went to college. Listen, we got a great show for you tonight, but first, when you hear the names Kenny, Ernie, Shaq, and Chuck, you think of black excellence and Ernie. As the host of Inside the NBA, these men have a keen understanding of, of the game and a refined basketball expertise. Here's a look at some of their finest moments.